Hello and welcome back to our mini-series of different ways to do muzzle flashes in iMovie. It's a week-long thing. Every day of the week, I'm going to upload a new way or a new tip or a new trick on how to do a muzzle flash in iMovie or how to make your life easier for those. So if you missed yesterday's episode, pretty much we talked about how to Photoshop a muzzle flash into iMovie. Very handy trick there. Please check it out if you missed it. Now today, we're going to talk about Action Essentials 2 and how to use it in iMovie. Now, what is Action Essentials 2? Well, it's expensive for one thing. That's what it is. For the 1280 by 720 resolution, it's $100. For even bigger film, it's closer to 250 Now, why does it cost so much? Well, basically, everything in Action Essentials 2 has a blank background, and the whole thing is filled with stuff like fire, explosions, smoke, shell casings, blood splats, everything, even glass breaking, all of it. It has a clear background. They're all pre-keyed. It even has some sound effects and other thumbnails as well, such as bullet holes, and those as well have a blank background. So it's a very handy tool. If you're making videos constantly, then you're probably going to want to consider getting this. Now, there's one thing I do have to say about this product, and that is the price. If you're going to buy Action Essentials 2 for $100 and use it in iMovie, you, my friend, are wasting your money. If I were you, I would save that $100 and buy a better movie editing program. Now, the one I use all the time is Final Cut Express. Unfortunately, that product was discontinued. So they're trying to make everybody buy Final Cut Pro 10 or Final Cut Pro X, however people are calling it, which means the Final Cut program called Final Cut Pro, without the X, has decreased in price. So that is handy. I would recommend... Saving up the $100 and possibly dishing out another $100 more to get a good editing program. I know that you guys still want pre-keyed muzzle flashes and other pre-keyed special effects. There is another product that costs significantly less than Action Essentials 2. And it basically does the same thing as Action Essentials 2. I will talk about that tomorrow's episode. But today we're focusing on... Action Essentials 2. So let's say you have iMovie and let's say you just so happen to have Action Essentials 2. Now let's talk about how to use it. First off, you have to make sure you have some iMovie footage. Now I know I say this every episode, but just in case you don't have any footage to practice with and you'd still like to use this tutorial, you can always film yourself shooting with hands and whatnot. Or you can go to my YouTube channel, and on the side here, it says Free Movie Assets. Click on that, and it'll take you to a Photo Bucket account. And on that Photo Bucket account, it'll take you to a place where it has a whole bunch of photos that you are able to use. We made these for you guys. Feel free to use them in any of your movies. We would greatly appreciate if you put some credits or something of where you got the files. You know, a link to our channel. Just support us, help us out for helping you out. It would be greatly appreciated. Now the one we're talking about is this video file here. What you go is you click on that, go to options, and then you click on download. You don't have to make an account. You don't have to sign in. You can just download it. Now that you have footage, let's talk about Action Essentials 2 some more. What you basically do is when you get the product, you take the CDs and you put it in your CD drive. Then you take anything you want to use from the CD and you save it into a folder. You just drag and drop it from the CD and put it in the folder. Then you eject the CD and now it's on your computer. And now you have awesome muzzle flashes. Now it's on your computer, you can use it anytime you want. It takes about 16 gigabytes of memory if you put everything. So how do we get it into iMovie? Well, go to File, Import, Movies. Go to where you saved the video. Click on it. Now, 
The most important thing is you want to make sure you are saving it in the correct event. You could make a new event, but this optimized video box has to be unchecked. If that box is checked, your video will have a black background. We do not want a black background. So I'm going to make a new event and call it Action Essentials 2. Now we have the muzzle flash. Now if you recall from our previous episodes in the iMovie muzzle flashes, the main issue is that the muzzle flash has to be on the screen for only one or two frames. But iMovie's minimum time for a picture to be on screen is 0.1 seconds. Now these muzzle flashes only last for one or two frames, which is exactly what we want. So now we have to make sure picture in picture is enabled on iMovie. So go to the top, click on iMovie, click on preferences, go to the general tab and make sure to show advanced tools box is checked. Now double click on your muzzle flash. Now drag it to exactly where you want the muzzle flash to appear. How about right there? I highly recommend we use picture in picture. Now it is very tiny, and it's also the wrong orientation in my opinion. We can fix all those. If you have the muzzle flash box selected, you can drag it around and adjust the size as needed. Now if you scroll over your box, you can see this little gear appear. Click on it and click on cropping and rotation. With that, we can click on these top arrows here and change the orientation 180 degrees. So now the muzzle flash will be pointing the correct direction. And let's click over here and scroll through it. Muzzle flash is a little off, so let's just drag it, make it a little bigger. Now I'd still like the muzzle flash to be a little bigger still. Well, once again, click on the little gear, click on cropping and rotation, and with the crop, shrink this green box. As the crop box gets smaller, the picture gets bigger. Now let's see how it works. Much more convincing. Now this is an animated muzzle flash, so it's going to have smoke, it's going to fade in, fade out, start out small and grow. It's going to do all those things for a muzzle flash. It'll look a lot better than just a still image of a muzzle flash, which is great, but again, it's expensive to buy it. So, like we do before, highlight the segment where the muzzle flash is visible, cut that piece out, right click, paste it in place, Highlight the middle segment, double click on it, go to video effect, and apply glow to it. Hit done. Now when the gun is going off, the room will change color. Now we have everything lined up visually. Now we need to add the audio. So click on the music note down here. I have a playlist called sound effects. Click on the playlist. Drag my sound effect, put it in place. Make sure the audio isn't clipping. As you can see, it was clipping. We have the little red light right there. So double click on that audio and change it to a lower volume. That's more appropriate. So there you go. That muzzle flash looks a lot better. We are using a more expensive product in a simple movie. If you want to have more than one muzzle flash, I have a tutorial about multiple pictures and pictures in iMovie. You have to remember that when you put a picture in picture effect in iMovie, that is it. You can only put one at a time at that time interval. If I was going to have another pistol, it cannot have a muzzle flash 
until unless there are no blue boxes in the overlying footage. So that's a quick thing to remember. So stay organized. Now I'm going to export this and show you the final result. Tomorrow I am going to show you a product that I bought instead of Action Essentials 2 when I was using iMovie. And it works in iMovie even though they claimed it didn't work in iMovie. So let me show you that product tomorrow. It's a lot cheaper and it's basically the same thing as Action Essentials 2 but it's for the no or low budgeters as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope you guys enjoy tomorrow's as well. So, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I make an iMovie tutorial every two weeks. Make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial. You can follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates that way. Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.